Welcome to a Friday edition of the Fringe News with Reverend Jeff. So much news and bad information has been slung around the net right now. It'd be negligent not to let you know what's really going on. So first up tonight is the Dr. Sykes DNA. That's the news that's been plastered all over the news pages right now. It seems that the media is blasting out to the world that Yeti is some kind of unknown polar bear and not the abominable snowman of legend. And that simply just isn't what Dr. Sykes has been saying. Dr. Seitz told us months ago that the failed results had been found to be some type of bear species. He was very excited to find some unseen before, like 40,000-year-old ancient bear DNA. But yet the media still seems to be unable to pick up on that. The BBC released an interview with Dr. Sykes talking about the exciting news, yet the broadcaster kept making fun of it not being a Bigfoot-type creature. Well, Dr. Sykes, as well as Rettman Mullins of Bigfootology, have both said not to worry. Nothing was considered groundbreaking would be released until after his paper was published, as that's the requirement of Oxford University. Yet he's free to talk about the failed results in the study, and they won't affect his new findings at all. So buckle up, people. The news is going to spin it so that they can make themselves look good and not really worry about what the truth is usual. So we hope Dr. Sykes' study will be out any day now. We'll be looking forward to the Bigfoot Files on UK's Channel 4 on Sunday at 8 p.m. local time. I know I can't wait to see it. So click on over to BigfootEvidence.blogspot.com to see all the latest info. And since we're on the subject of news coverage, our buddy Tyler Huggins made the Calgary Herald for his efforts to find the great beast in the Great White North. It's a very nice write-up about the man and the efforts to go and find some of the DNA samples and the evidence to prove that Sasquatch does, in fact, exist. So check out the description for a link to that story. And yet another news story out of the news is we come to find evidence of 1.8 million-year-old scrolls that may indeed rewrite human history. From the theory of multiple steps on the path to Homo sapiens sapien, it could be possibly one big step, as some of the differences given to the species could just be genetic differences within the same units. So it could end up being Cro-Magnon, Neanderthalus erectus, or something just as silly. There seems to be some controversy over the pines, though, as the wheels of science do turn slowly. Again, check out the description for a link to that story. Now next up is some great news. Phil Poling has finally won the Battle of the Trolls once again, and YouTube has restored his channel to its full glory. He's even got a new breakdown up of an alien eating a hiker's head. An oldie but a goodie, but thank goodness Para Breakdown's back to full strength. Stop on over to youtube.com slash Para Breakdown to check out all of his latest videos. And finally tonight, the dates of the Sasquatch Summit in Ocean Shores, Washington have been announced. Some of the speakers like Dr. Meldrum, Derek Randalls of the Olympic Project, Ron Moorhead of the Sierra Sounds, Phil Poling of Para Breakdown were all mentioned by name in the advertisement. So we'll look forward to seeing the pictures and hearing the stories from the event November 22nd through the 24th, 2013. Thanks for joining me for the Fringe News number 77. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you. Dot forty in slip. Damien Bravo's Fantastical Universe.